Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the scrappy wife behind scrappywife.com and today I have a traveler's notebook process video for you. I am working in my This Is Me traveler's notebook. I started this when I, or at the beginning of the year, and I've been kind of keeping up with it. I still have some journaling to fill in, but here and here too, but I'm on like the last page because I've been putting pages together, so I'll put those two together. And this will be the last entry in this particular one. And then I'll kind of decide if I want to um, keep up this project. So I have this picture of myself that I am going to document. And then I have these gorgeous pieces from the This Is Us line from Paper House Studios. And these are or Paper House Productions. These are meant to work in your planner but I actually think that they're going to work really well in my traveler's notebook. So I will be using those. Um, I'll list everything else I end up using down below. Otherwise, let's go. As always, I like to keep the processes for these pages super simple. This is just a fun every now and then project now. Um, I don't use a ton of supplies. I don't use a ton of pictures or like crazy techniques, but I do kind of record stories and thoughts, which is what I think is really fun about it. So I started out by sticking two pages together. I just like to do that so that they're a little bit thicker in this particular traveler's notebook. And I have this spare piece of paper, some scrap paper, and you you can see I started out cutting it and then ended up just ripping it down the side. I love that torn paper look and because it's blue it really coordinates with the shirt I'm wearing in the picture. I also found this really pretty card, a three by four card that says life is what you make it, which I just love. This picture is actually a picture from a couple weeks ago when I first got my hair cut, one of the first times I've gotten my hair cut um, in the whole pandemic. So it felt really good to get it trimmed. And I had decided to continue to let the gray grow out. So I haven't been coloring my hair for like a year now, just over a year since the pandemic started. Um, and I think I'm okay with it. So I'm kind of embracing it. At this point, I'm looking through my stash to see what other papers I have that might have blue on them. I do have this Wonder Woman paper that I'll end up using. I found this extra little strip that I think I will go ahead and put at the bottom just because I can bring that gold over to the other side of the spread. So I will add it here on the left side and then kind of connect it with the blue that's on the right. I just have to peel up some of the paper that I have down already, but I like how that kind of continues to the design from the left side to the right side, brings that gold over, and then I'll use that other Wonder Woman paper. Um, you don't really see the Wonder Woman part of it, and that's okay, I just want the hints of blue. And I'm gonna use that for the post-it notes. I really love decorative post-it notes for a variety of reasons. I use them in my planning, especially my pre-planning. I just think they're fun to have around, um, even more so than just your standard post-it notes. So I'll show you how I like to use them in other parts of my paper crafting. You can use them as stickers, you can use them as paper pieces and embellishments. There's a lot of ways that uh, you can use them, and so I'll show you one way in this video. All right, I'm getting my cards down, and then I'm going to embellish just a little Little bit with a few of these stickers. Again, these are meant for a planner, but because they're size so small, they're great for embellishing on traveler's notebook pages as well. All right, so I'm going to use these different post-its to add my journaling. And what I'm going to do is actually mat them on this paper. This will bring in some more of the blue over on the left side of the spread. So you can see I'm just kind of spreading out my post-it notes. And then I sped this up a ton. All I'm doing is adding adhesive on the back, spreading them out, and then I will just trim them out, leaving just a little bit of the edge of blue. Like I said, this is a Wonder Woman paper. It doesn't come across as Wonder Woman once I um, cut it out. So I like the Wonder Woman papers. I think they are fun to work with for sure. But in this case, I was just going for the color. And I like how these will end up kind of blocking off some different places for me to journal. And what I am going to go with as far as my journaling is um, things I know for sure. That's going to be kind of my prompt. And so I will add that up at the top and then end up journaling off camera. So right now, I'm sorry, I got a little bit out of 
out of shot, but I'm arranging them on the page and then I'll scoot it up in just a second and then adhere all of these pieces down and add a few more stickers as embellishments. I highly recommend having a low pressure project like this one is. Um, I think I spent maybe a total of 15 minutes on this spread from start to finish. Of course, pieces that you have seen were sped up. Um, and it was nice. It's just a nice little outlet. It's nice to have something that doesn't take a lot of time, but that still kind of gets that creativity going. I'm pretty proud of finishing this traveler's notebook. I think anytime you finish a traveler's notebook or any sort of project, it feels really nice. Um, I'm going to play with a few of the stickers here. I always like to nestle stickers in corners, especially when I have boxes meeting. I do the same thing when I'm doing planning. Um, and I found that I feel the same way in my traveler's notebooks. I like to fill up the space as much as I can. So you're going to see me trying to find stickers that'll fit in all the space but I like to nestle different shaped stickers in the corners of spreads. That way it doesn't end up looking so boxy, if that makes sense. It kind of cuts off those edges, softens them a little bit, um, and it works really well in these traveler's notebook spreads as well as when I'm working on planner spreads. I do like to have these as very full spreads. So I'm looking for stickers or a sticker that might go in the bottom right. You see how there's that open spot? And then I wanna bring a little bit more gold foiling up to the top left. So I find a sticker that'll fit right in there, putting in another gold heart, and then I have to search a little bit. I, the gold hearts did not pop out at me. So I found one larger one, which goes great right there. And then I knew there were more and I like, ah, oh, there they are. And so I just add them in. I will journal off camera. And then this is my Studio Calico Mega Date Stamp, which I've been using to add dates. And for this one, I'm actually just going to do the date that I journal, not the date of the picture. So adding that in right there. And then this spread is absolutely done. And this traveler's notebook is finished. I am going to share with you a quick flip through. Okay, so I thought I would share maybe a quick flip through. This is almost done. It just has a few more places where I want to add some notes. So again, this is a traveler's notebook from Paper House Productions. I keep it in their journey book and it says be positive on the front, shine like the stars. I kind of want to write a summary of what the purpose of this little project was. And that purpose is I wanted to document selfies. And when I was doing the selfies, I wanted to document just things I was thinking, things I was feeling, dreams I was having, just kind of an overview of what it was like to be me in this uh, five month period. So I started in January, I was doing it weekly for a while, and then took a little break. And now I am back and finishing it up. So here we go. Here we have me picking up my kids from school, the mask selfie, and this is all about um, things that make me feel in tune with myself. Here would be my top 10 goals for this particular year. Um, not so much on the 20 pounds. I have been moving my body still a long way away from that. I am organizing the house. This might be on hold because my daughter made a travel soccer team. So some of our money went for that instead of construction. I am keeping up with my planners. I have created two teachable courses. I am focusing on creative projects. We haven't done a family game night like a regular one. We have done it, just not regular and learn to say no to opportunities, working on that as well. All right, this one was from inauguration day. My husband um, is in the army band, so he plays at the inauguration every four years. And I just kind of wanted to share, it was just a little bit of a stressful day with him down there, but kind of the hope I feel every time we have um, a big patriotic event. All right, this one, is yes you can so i can handle virtual school in work even when even when it was hard what i what i know today that i didn't know a year ago i'm still becoming who i'm meant to be 
Even after being here for a year, my home is still my favorite place. There is power in saying yes, but also in saying no. Proud of myself. Uh, this is when I launched my first online course on Teachable about organizing your craft room. So I wanted to document that accomplishment. Um, something that I'm working on telling myself. I am me. I am unique. I am beautiful. And I kind of just wrote it over and over again. Loving the purple, of course. All right. Who do you look up to? This one is Shauna Klingerman. I was notating all the gray hair that's coming in. And so I'm just talking about how I want to be more authentic and honest. And Shauna is someone that I greatly admire for that quality. Always believe in yourself. Just some anxiety I was having about how um, my body is changing as I get older and through this pandemic and how I just want to have confidence in who I am. Get messy. This is the first time I tried a gel plate and I wanted to document just how fun it is to get creative and get messy and how it just always lifts my mood trying new things. Here I am making a crazy face. So just notating some new things I'm trying, how I'm trying to be more brave and put myself out there. This is one I still need to fill in the journaling. This is my daughter and I, our first time back at church, which was just filled with emotions back at church in person after being gone for a year. Dream big dreams. This one is about the day I got my first round of the vaccine. I just wanted to write a little bit about it, so I need to go fill that in. And then about spring, my favorite season of the year and kind of the hope I feel every spring. And my last page. So what I know for sure, working hard is worth it every time. Be authentic, it's way less exhausting. Failure is an option, it's how you grow. I am not for everyone. I wanna keep working for my dreams. So that is my little project. So yeah, I thought it would be nice for my kids to have just a little snapshot of who I am, some things I believe and some things I've been dreaming and thinking in this time. So you can see still a few little things to fill in here and there, but otherwise it's pretty much done. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. The majority of this project um, was done with supplies from Paper House Productions. I do have an affiliate link for them as well as a discount code. So I will list that on the screen and in the description box as well. So make sure you, you use that um, because you can save money even on top of sales. So it's a very, very good deal. A huge shout out to my YouTube members. Thank you so much for your continued support. You guys are awesome and I just really appreciate you all. Um, if you're interested in finding out more about YouTube membership and the perks that they receive as YouTube members, make sure to click that join button. I hope that you have a fabulous day and as always, keep it creative.